Hi, evening everyone. Uh, hopefully this one will come out okay because it's a little bit dark and my camera is struggling to pick up the sort of change in light. So um, if this one doesn't work too well, I shall record a fresh one for you. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be doing the lock and loop technique or locked loop technique, depending how you say it. It's used a lot for Blythe dolls. Um, I haven't got a Blythe scalp, which is free of hair to show you. So I'm going to do what other people have done and use a piece of paper to simulate the Blythe scalp. I shall um, come back to how to do it on smaller dolls like Cindy and My Little Ponies um, in a bit. But this effect is essentially gives you like a factory perfect look. Um, for the Blythe scalp I'm going to be using a little 1mm crochet hook and uh, this part will be the inside of the scalp and that's the outside just to sort of give you a basic idea of what you do. You need your hair plugs to be half the thickness you want them and twice as long you'll see why in a minute because they double over and it's advisable to work with wet hair plugs for this just to keep things neat. I did wet my hair plugs earlier but I think they're drying out now so if this cut turns out a little messy I do apologise. So you take your little crochet hook and you go from the inside of the scalp and you push it through to the outside like that. And then you take your first hair plug and you fold it in half so it's looped at the middle point and you put that loop over your crochet hook and you hold on to it and you pull your crochet hook from obviously this is the outside of the scalp through to the underside like that it's a lot easier on paper than it is on the actual thing and then you release your loop and you're left with a loop like that and then you get your second hair plug I'm using blue here so you can see contrast. Again take it in the middle, put your hook up from the inside to the outside, go over the needle, sorry crochet hook, pull it through and you want to come through the first loop like that. And you hold on to the second one and you pull from the outside your first loop tight against like that. So that will hold the second loop. And then again, you go again, you get your hair, fold it over, this one's getting a little bit dry. And you again go from the inside of the pretend blive scalp to the outside. You hook your hair, you see that? and you pull it through Oops, like that and again bring it through the loop from before so it's like that and then holding on to the one you've just done you pull the loop before it through so that in turn locks in the next one like that and you just keep on going and from the outside obviously you can't see the loops on the inside it gives it a very nice neat finish and to, when you come to the end you can tie the the two last loops together or loops together or with a bit of cotton to keep them all in place if you want to keep it you know nice and tight and flush like that it's great little effect I'll just do another one so you can see it's almost like a chain Effect. One plug holding in the next one. Come from the inside to the outside. Onto your crochet hook. Pull it through. Keep hold of that loop. And again, oh, find next one. And pull it tight like that. I'll do one more. Seeing as I've got an extra hole and an extra hair plug here. Through and the crochet hook, bring it back through. Oh, don't get in a tangle like I've just done. And you want to bring that through and you pull. Which one is it? 
pull from the outside through, like that. Really, really simple, really effective as well. I mean, if you want to give a little dab of glue where you began and where you ended, you can. But uh, I mean, it's strong enough. I'm pulling quite tight here. It's strong, and it's just the pulley. Tighter you pull, you tight. The tighter you pull, the better it holds. So you'll get a nice, neat effect. Now, uh, that's using the crochet hook on a blithe. To use it on a dolly head is a little bit more tricky. I don't, don't think this will actually go through. I mean, you could could try, but it's almost a bit too fat. But, uh, hang on, let's have a look. I wonder if I can. No, it's going to rip the hair plug. So, because you can't use it, you get your needle. Good old trusty needle again. And you put some cotton or dental floss works brilliantly because it really grabs and holds onto the hair. However, again, I don't have any dental floss, so I'm not very well prepared for this tutorial. But coloured thread will do just as well. And you have it so you've got a loop of the thread there. And you come from the outside and you push through. So it's just hanging out like that. And then you get your your plug of hair. Let's go with brown. And you basically treat this loop like the crochet hook hook bit. So you pop that through. Can you see what I'm doing? My fingers are in the way. Pop that through to the midpoint, like that. So that's the hair being held by the cotton. And you pull, you pull your needle through, which will pull through the cotton and in turn pull through your loop of brown hair. Like so. Fiddly on small doll heads, and then you take off the cotton. You just hope Cindy isn't going to roll too far. Oh, she is. Hold on. And then you re-thread your needle with the loop, and retrieve Cindy from the bottom of the table, and you go in to the next hole. You still got your loop on the bottom, and you push through. And you come through the loop like that. You get your second hair plug, and again, fiddly fiddly, you put that through the loop. Oh, nope. if you can, like that. Oops, sorry, she keeps rolling away from me. So again, you've got your blue held into the needle, and exactly the same, you pull the needle through, and you make sure it comes through that first loop, just like on the paper, put it through. You'll tell if it hasn't gone through, because when you pull the first plug, obviously the brown one, it will just pull right out. So that's a good way <laughs> of finding out if it's taken, and then you pull brown, which will do just like it did on the paper, and hold the blue in. And you just keep going like that. It's a, it's very fiddly, very tricky, but the sort of great sort of factory looped effect is very secure. I mean, no glue needed. And um, it looks really nice and neat and tidy on the inside. I don't know if you can see that in there. But it's all like those big loops, only really, really diddy little ones. And that's a great way. You can. It also works really well on a pony. I mean, you can see whenever you take your hair out of your doll for the original sort of factory hair that you want to replace, you'll see it's all looped and the loops are holding each loop in. That, that's essentially the effect we're doing here. So I hope that's explained it, sort of, in my own sort of rambly gambled way. But hopefully you now understand the lock and loop technique. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or drop me an email and I shall do my best to help. Alright, I hope that helps. Bye.